Hi, this is Luke with The Gamer, and I'm here covering another Dying Light 2 Easter Egg? How many are there? Yes, we're back, looking at another Dying Light 2 Easter Egg. Most of the Easter Eggs in this game are either very straightforward or very complicated, and this one definitely falls into the latter category. To do this, first of all we need to find 5 black ducks scattered across the map, which then allows us to play a Doom inspired level and find Star Wars and Legend of Zelda inspired Easter Eggs in it. And as a heads up, first of all, you'll need to have beat the story mission broadcast to do this one. But if you have, then let's get started. So, let's dive straight in. The first duck can be found in Houndfield in Old Villador, in this area that is heavily covered by chemicals. There's a small patch of land that isn't, and that's where you can find your first black duck. But be careful, because this is highly dangerous chemicals that can drop your immunity in seconds. The next black duck can be found on the northern side of the map by the wharf. Head under the bridge and you'll see these three rope swings. Use them to jump across and you'll reach an anomaly area where you'd fight a revenant at night time. But head over to the northern fence to climb up and you can see a car underwater. Dive in, swim up and open the boot and here is where you'll find your second of five black ducks. Okay then, let's move on to the third black duck. This one is located west of the garrison district at the observatory. To get to this one, you'll need the grappling hook, hence why I told you you need to finish the broadcast mission earlier. And then head over to the right corner and use your hook to grapple onto these lights. And from there it's a bit of swinging, but be careful because this area once again is covered in chemicals and you only have a couple of seconds of resistance. Once you get up though, head over, jump past the corner, and then climb up onto this tower here that's just above the entrance. Climb into the tower and there you will find the next blank duck sitting on top of a little container. The next duck can be found in Lower Dam Aya. Just across on a little patch of land, it's mostly covered by chemicals, but there is one spot that is clean. So just swim or glide across, land over here, and you'll find the duck sitting on top of a skull, which is not ominous at all. And now, the fifth and final black duck. You can find this one near the top of the VNC Tower. If you've seen my previous videos, you might recognise it sort of. It's this little patch you need to jump off here if you were heading for the dev room or the cyberpunk easter eggs. But instead of jumping, walk to the end and you'll notice there's a little room in here. Drop down and inside there's an inhibitor crate and another crate with some items in it. But you're actually looking for a safe in the other corner of the room. So head over and enter the number of the beast, 666, to open the safe and get your final black duck. And now, with all five black ducks in hand, head to the VNC tower basement. Head through this door and you'll find another elevator, and take it down to level zero, and you'll find this scary looking altar in the basement. So then, start placing black ducks in front of all the power cables on these tables, and they'll all start to power up one by one. The next step is you need to start connecting all the cables, but it's not as simple as you'd think. In fact, you need to connect them to boxes in the shape of a pentagram. The best way to do this is that when you grab the cable, instead of connecting it to the one immediately to the left, skip that one and connect it to the one afterwards. You'll know you've plugged the cable into the right box because you'll hear this noise. And now is the moment you've all been waiting for. Once you've hooked up all the cables properly, a gun will appear in the centre of the pentagram altar and you'll be able to start the secret hangar combat challenge. So, once you start the challenge, you'll be given a somewhat unsubtle hint, Welcome to Hell, a Kadoom shotgun 1993 times, and if you haven't figured it out already, this is a recreation of the original first level from the 1993 Doom. However, we're not finished yet. There's two secret blueprints hidden in this challenge that you're going to need to grab before we're done here. As soon as you start the challenge, turn right and head out where you'll see this square of green stuff. In the centre is the Dying Force blueprint. And our second one is hidden away a little further. Head into this little corridor, then turn right and go into the room all the way on the end. If you've played original Doom, this will make sense to you why I'm telling you to do this. Anyway, once you go into this room, head back out and go straight ahead until you come to a room that has a load of green liquid in it. And now initially, I kind of go the wrong way here, thinking I need to climb up there. Once again, it's my original Doom instincts kicking in. Instead, you can see there's a little room to the left of where we've just come in. Go in there, and you'll find the Mistress Sword Blueprint. And the good news is you don't need to technically finish the challenge. In this recording, I actually got killed shortly after I picked up the Mistress Sword. So don't go thinking you need to get a gold medal on this challenge or something. As soon as you pick up the blueprints, they're yours. 
So, now you've got the Dying Force and Mistress Sword blueprints, I bet you're dying to craft them. But be warned, both of these items ask for a hefty 369 scraps to craft. But if you've got the materials to spare, they're pretty fun to use. Neither of these weapons really have an effect on zombies, but when used on human enemies, the Dying Force allows you to force choke enemies Darth Vader style. Meanwhile, the Mistress Sword doesn't do any direct damage to an enemy's health, however it does do a massive amount of damage to stamina, which can stagger enemies and let you perform combat drop kicks. So that is your guide on how to find the Black Ducks, Doom, Star Wars and Legends of Zelda Easter Eggs in Dying Light 2. I hope this guide has helped you out and thanks for watching. Please check out thegamer.com for more. Thank <laughs> you.